Welcome to Sixes Overdrive again today, guys. We're going to do another DR650 mod from a guy that doesn't know his way around a wrench at all. So right after this quick little introduction, we'll get down to it. We're going to be removing this little chain guard or whatever they call this thing in here and showing you quickly how to do that. This should be easy, right? Should be easy. Roll the music. Okay guys, welcome back. As uh, we did last time, I like the format. I like the way that worked out. We're going to uh, show you what it takes for an incompetent mechanic to do something on a bike. We have not done this yet, so uh, we're learning together. All right. What I'm going to use to do mine is a little bit of silicone. I've had this sitting in the garage forever, so hopefully it's good or else I'm going to have to run to the store and get some more. Always the worst case for me because I just don't have the right tools sitting around for doing mechanic stuff. I do carpentry. I don't do this kind of stuff. So anyway, that's what we're going to use. And then, uh, also, we're going to need a wrench, uh, 12 mil. Okay, I pre-sized that out already for you. It's 12 mil wrench to get that bolt off. And I'm going to take off the panel because it looks really cramped in here, if you see that. That's pretty cramped. Right in here is what we're taking off. So I'm going to take off the side panel to do that. Okay, guys, as always, we're going to start the stopwatch and away we go. Three, two, one. First, we'll undo this. Just one bolt to remove your side panel, just in case you missed my last video. Pull it forward like that. Let's stick this bolt back in here. All right, set that off to the side. I'll make sure we've got that to loosen. That's what I think I need on these socket wrenches. I need a... <sighs> need the right direction on here so I can figure out what I'm doing. There we go. It's all loose now, guys. Oh, it's coming out easy. I guess you're going to have to look at my wrist there because I can't really show you any better way. Let's just take this right out of here now so we can feel it when it comes off. I thought it would be getting even a little bit more dirty than this too because, uh, you know, the chain's right there, but I don't even really have to touch it. That's gone. There it is. We got to seal that hole back up. Now a lot of guys use a, uh, yeah, this stuff's jammed up pretty good. See that? Not coming out at all. Uh, a lot of guys, so I guess we need one other tool, guys. We need the old knife, right? Let's just cut that right off. I haven't used this in years anyway, so hopefully this silicone is still good. But uh, we got to, I think what we're going to do, this is my technique. I haven't tried this from anybody. I'm going to take a big glob like this. And we're going to put it into the hole. And then I'm going to fill that up with a few globs. And then let it dry. And we just don't want moisture getting into the frame. What happens with this little piece, and most of you are watching the video probably already know this, Maybe some guys who don't have a DR are wondering though. What happens is when the suspension compresses, this chain goes up to that, uh, to that little thing and it hits it. And what it does is it just wraps around this side of it and it rips it right off. And when it rips it right off, guess what the other thing it does? Yeah, it breaks your frame or cracks your frame. Uh, it's a very ugly thing. You don't want it to happen. Uh, worst thing just about on a motorbike is a cracked frame. You can get it welded back up again later, but usually there's a lot of parts missing to replace and stuff to go get that done. So that's done. Let's hit our timer. 30270. 30270. Man, that's uh, 
that's pretty good. We're getting pretty good at this mechanical stuff. Truthfully, it's not rocket science. If I can do it, you can do it. So anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying this step-by-step -step instructions. I do it like this so that you don't have to go back and check everything five times. If you're doing one job, you look at one video for the job instead of putting all six, six different things I'm going to do in one shot. Let's just keep it short and you can do one at a time. You can look up my videos for other ones. Keep watching the channel. There'll be more of this to come. Everything we're going to do, air boxes, you name it, putting on exhaust, whatever we have to do. So remember to share, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, with a silicone finger, this is Sixes Overdrive saying bye-bye.